Okay, this is a uh, another editing that I am trying to do, guys. So, uh, this is a call with Sam Wilson, um, very legit officer with um, the Social Security Administration, um, and he's talking with Jennifer or Jenny Taylor, as my friends like to call me, um, about uh, apparently some very illegal activities going on on my social. So um, this is uh, Sam Wilson. The call, the call has been transferred to me and you're speaking with officer Sam Wilson. So before I go ahead and provide you the exact information regarding about the call that you've received. So can you just help me pull up your file by providing me with your first and your last name? Okay, this is Jennifer. Last name is Taylor. Help me spell out. Jennifer or Taylor? How do you spell with your last name? Is is T A Y L A? All right. So come in. Let go ahead and grab. Hello. Um. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So once again, my name is uh, Officer Sam Wilson, and at the moment I am with your file. And according to your file, I can see that there are several allegations done with your name, as well as there is an arrest warrant which is issued on your name. So are you aware about the situation? No. First time hearing about it. Uh, so uh, let me guide you ahead with the information from which you can come to know each and everything about the case. So, but first, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen with you so that you can write it down the information which I'm going to provide from my side, all right? So when you get ready with a pen and a paper, let me know it, okay? So first of all, I want you to write it down my bet ID number. It starts with a letter AZ, A like Alpha, Z like Zebra, 7060. Okay. You got it? And write it down your warrant ID number, that is 201573. Write down my what? That is your warrant ID number. As I have told you, uh, there are some suspicious activities done with your name. That's the reason why your arrest warrant has been issued. So I wanted to make sure that you noted down your warrant ID number as in this case, it's going to help you out with the information which I've provided you, all right? So okay. can you uh, read it back to me? Um, the number you gave me was 201. So, uh, Mrs. Jennifer, uh, now as there are legal enforcement agencies involved in this case, so before I go ahead and provide you the exact information, I need to first go ahead with the verification process and confirm a couple of questions from your site so that I can confirm and give it out to you the confidential information which is in your name. So is that okay with you? Um, okay. All right. So first of all, for the first verification, can you confirm me with your zip code? My zip code? Verification right at the moment. How old are you? Well, that's kind of personal. Can you, it, wait a minute. Aren't I talking to the Social Security? Don't you know how old I am? Yes, of course. No, Mrs. M Mrs. Jennifer, I'm making sure that the information uh, is correct. It's in every information is uh, the right, I mean, correct. Okay. And just to verify it from your side. I'm 49. So you're 49 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know that, I'm assuming, so, right? Okay. So for the for the last verification from my side, uh, can you confirm me the last four digit number of your social? Um, yes, it's 2018. For a moment, let me just go ahead and uh, verify the information, okay? Fine. In the city of Redmond, Washington? Yes, I am. Okay.
So now before uh, we proceed further, I would like to notify you that these lines are recorded and monitored by four major federal agencies, that is Department of Treasury Justic, Internal Revenue Services, Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, and finally Department of Narcotics. So I want you to be specific and honest whatever you speak over this recorded call and any statement going against the respect of SSA or any federal department would lead this conversation to an end and you could get arrested at any time. So one last thing, do not interrupt me while I'm reading out the information which is in about your case and I will give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise all your questions. So is it all clear with you? Do you have any doubt? Well, I have a lot of doubt. choices do I have here but to listen to you? I mean, do I have any other choices? All right. Sorry? You just asked me if I have any doubt. Yes, I have tons of doubts, but you also told me not to interrupt you. You also told me this is a federally, federally recorded line. Um, I'm not quite yes, sure what I'm supposed to say here. All right, I got it. So, um... M Mrs. Jennifer, uh, let's get to the point. So, according to the investigation, it says that there are some reasons for this call. Firstly, we have found multiple addresses. The first address, uh, that is 5731 Cormor Drive, El Texas. Wait, 513 what? Is 27. What? 513 what? Yes, it's 5731. Five, Cormor Drive, El Paso, Texas, and the zip code is El Paso? 79912. El Paso? So, do you have any idea with these addresses? Do you have any idea with the address that I just mentioned? Oh, I bet you that's Ted's place. All right, and the six one nine zero four seven. So, do you have any idea with these two addresses that I just mentioned? Um, no, it, again, they both sound kind of familiar. They, those could be Ted, like I mentioned before. All right. All right. So, Mrs. Jennifer, as per the investigation report under your social number, there are seven allegations found under your name. Your social has been misused in the state of Texas. Social Security Administration and law enforcement agencies have found 10 bank accounts which is open and used fraudulently using your social number to commit a fraud of more than $10 million. So these accounts used to transfer and receive funds for illegal local and international bank while transfer yeah. indulged in numerous criminal activities like money laundering, drug trafficking, and for internal wait, wait, revenue services. Wait, wait, back up, back up, back up, back up. Over America. Back up, back up. I'm sorry. Did you just say a million dollars? There Poor are 10. I don't have 10 bank accounts. You are the one. So as I told you, there are some, someone who's been using, misusing your personal identification for doing illegal activities. That's so, um, as here I have mentioned 10, as I have mentioned 10 bank accounts registered under your name. So are you the owner of all these 10 bank accounts or do you have any idea with this? Uh, no, I, I only have one bank account. Uh, no, it's definitely, I'm only one bank account. And I told you, I don't, I'm in, I'm, I'm, okay, I do know I'm up so, in Washington State by... Um, can you just confirm me the name of the bank you have with you? The name of my bank? The yeah, name of my bank, uh, yes, that's Chase Bank. Chase Bank, that's where I bank. State bank. So, all right. So now, um, just to differentiate the bank account, you say you are not the owner, as well as we cannot take your account number or routing number over this recorded call, as it is against the law. So right. can you just confirm me the approximate, the approximate balance you have in your state bank account? In my, in my case, I only have a charge. Five thousand dollars. Yes. All right. So here, um, 
As well as I can oversee here, there are several credit cards issued under your name. So do you have any credit cards with you? None. I don't have any credit cards at all. All right. So you can honestly so, so you can close out everything. Been... You can pretty much close out everything. Other than I have one bank account, so that should be very easy. Uh, yes. Mrs. Jenny, uh, what I'm asking you with your bank is because, as I have said, that there are 10 bank accounts open uh, uh, with your personal information. So I need to make sure uh, that it's not done by you. It, uh, information comes from your emotion in this case. So there's a reason why I'm asking you to confirm me with your bank. All okay. Right? So well, now, what are the other banks? Um, your social... What are the other banks? So, Mrs. Jennifer, let me just go ahead. You can Let call me, me Jenny. Call me Jenny. Right? We're friends. The number has been indulged in for numerous credit cards, debt, unsecured loans, car loans, and medical bills of $147,000, which are still pending on your name. And it demands a rigorous imprisonment of 30 years and penalty of $200,000. So do you have any valid explanation to our finding of criminal activities against you and your social number? Please answer me in yes or no. Um, no. All right. So now FBI and other law enforcement agencies want us to go ahead with legal proceeding by issuing a non-bail arrest warrant. So the moment we go ahead with legal proceeding, your social number will get suspended and all your bank account, debit card, credit card, and 401k plan will get seized. I by told the you, I don't have government. any of that. Yes, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just providing you the information what's really going on with this case as it is charged on your name. I know, but you so just said that my 401k would be seized and you I'm like, fine, I don't have one. Theft. So, Mrs. Jenny, uh, I have one question. So, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Yes, I have. I haven't been there in a few years. All right. So, uh, did you uh, share your personal information, like social number, social security number? I did. I did with Ted. I, I did. Yes. Last time I was there was a couple of years ago. Oh, gosh, probably three or four years ago. Yeah, I did, but that's what I'm saying. It has to be Ted behind this if this is happening in Texas. Okay, so it is because we suspect everyone at the moment with regard in this case, all right? Ted Cruz. So here, Ted Cruz, um, Ted Cruz, I wanted, that's who you need. I, Go after him. I'm not your gal or your guy. Jennifer, so now I want you to listen Jenny, to me call very me Jenny. carefully, all right? So okay. Once this case was brought on our notice by various law enforcement agencies involved like FBI, since then we have been keeping a close watch on you and even gone through your past record. So after this investigation from your past record, we believe that this might not have been done by you now, the reason why we called you before sending you an illegal notice is only because we ascertain this heinous drug trafficking is being carried out by a criminal who are still at large. But this we what don't have crime? any evidence and proof of criminal. Back up, can you repeat? Yes, your okay. personal information, your personal information, your social information has been used in drug trafficking and criminal activities oh, so Jesus, right damn. at the moment um there are there are two options at the moment which we have to choose so the first option this <sighs> allegation are made under your social number and we have complete evidence of the same so you can accept this and face the legal action under your name and the second option you can give me the number for your local police department and let me talk to them and see if they can understand the situation that is not done by you and give out a resolution option for the same. Okay. So, which option will be comfortable for you according to the truth? 
All right, I'm Kevin. I'm just, this whole thing's giving me kind of an anxiety attack, Sam. I'm sorry. Okay, so I heard the last option, local police. So what was the other one? I, I can look up the low. I mean, I'm happy. You, I'm definitely, I, I promise you, this isn't me. So I'm happy if you want to talk to my local police department. You know, that's fine. I can look up the Redmond police for All you. All right, I got it. Okay. So, uh, Mrs. Jenny, I, right at the moment, I need you to give me the number of your state police department. You can even use your Google or Yellow Pages, all right? Do you want so the, the Redmond? Moment you hang up the call, I'll but do you want call. Redmond or do you want... Yes, the moment. Do you want the Redmond police or do you want the state police? Which number do you want? I want you to start it up... Uh, Hold I on. wanted to search your state police department number I'm looking. so that Hold I can on. talk to them. I'm looking. Okay. Hold All right. Uh, Redmond, here we go. See, everything's so messed up because of COVID. So it says move to phase three. Hold on. I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Okay. This, you ready? Four, two, two, five. Five five six two six zero zero. Is it correct? That's correct. I mean, it's at least that's. I don't. Right. I mean, so let me. D I pulled up Redmond. Now I can pull up the state police, but that's going to be different than Red. Redmond is a town in Washington. Do you want the actual Washington State Police? That was just Redmond Police. So that would be my local police. But if you want Washington, oh, hold on, let's sure look not. for Washington State. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. No, no, no. no. Washington Our State Police. Okay, so, um, Mrs. Jenny. Hold on. Mrs. Jenny, uh, at the moment, uh, I wanted to stay on a hold because I need to, uh, let me just call this for oh, uh, your state police department. You got it. Okay, here, I have a better them. number for All you. Right. Ready? I have a better number. Washington State Patrol, in case the other one doesn't work. I just pulled this up. You ready? 425. No, Mrs. Jenny. Mrs. Jenny. What? I thought you wanted to... Watch All right, go ahead. 425. I'm just telling you, this is another... You, the first number I gave you was the Redmond Police, okay? Redmond is... A city inside of Washington State in the United States. So if you want this, the the seven seven eight eight. So let me just uh, verify the number. Okay, just hold on a moment. Okay. Okay, guys, I am pausing this for a minute just to say I do remember this in. Okay, so if you listen closely now, I think this is where, um, sorry, I was just trying to find something on here. I'll keep it on here. Uh, this is where he uh, decides to pretend like he's calling the actual, um, I think it's Redmond Police. Anyways, let's go. Uh, You provide me the true number of your state police department. So which number do you want me to call them up? It doesn't matter. I, you tell me. You're the one who's in charge. So the first one I gave you was local, right? So that's Redmond. That's where, And I also gave you the state of Washington police. So that's the state I'm in. So I don't know. You tell me which number. All right. So let me just... Talk to you. Okay. So let me just... Uh, Call the first number that you gave me, okay? That is four two five 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 six two six zero zero. So let me call them up from another line, okay? So That's just fine. stay on a hold for a moment. Okay. Okay, this is where I think. Hello, Hello? This is Officer Lemon Cooper from the Investigation Division of Social Security Administration. How are you today, Officer? Yes, I am doing good too, so can I talk to a senior officer? Okay, sure, I'll stay on a call. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Jenny, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, honey. Can you hear? 
I can hear okay, you. So, uh, I'm just the on Sam? the call. Yes, I'm just I'm just on the call with your local state police department. I'm just having a word with them. So I want you to just uh, be hold on the line for a moment, okay? Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was just watching Judge Judy. Yeah. I can hear you, Sam. What's up? Okay, so I just had a word. I just had a word with your local state police department, which is Officer Marshall. So at the oh, moment, I, I just gave okay. your number. So he need he need a word with you, so that he will be calling you up at any point. So if you get a call from him, please make sure you check the number. If it is from the local police number, the number that I gave you, only then pick up the call, okay? What number is it? So, the number which you gave me, yes, the number which you gave me is 4 to, like, the number which you provide me, is it the same number? You just said 425-62600. No. Can you uh, read it back to me? Yeah, I just, that's what I was doing, I thought. You just said 425-562-600. Is it correct? S no, it seems like if it's, it should be. Can you tell me once again? Um, department, yes, so. Your local state police number. The local state, the yes, local. The Redman Police Department number. The Redman, okay, that's not state police. Okay, there's a difference between state and so city police. So, are you are you trying to find the 425-556-2500 number? That's the main Redmond police. That's on 8701 160th Ave, Northeast Redmond, Washington, 98052. That's the Redmond police. Okay. 452 is the phone number. You can call them. And just let them know what's going on. You want me to do that? No, I have already talked to the officer. I have oh. already talked to your local police department number. The number which you just gave me. Yes, I'm just confirming that if there is any mistake. So, uh, right at the moment, let me just uh, go ahead and uh, transfer. I mean, submit all this information which I got from your side. And he will be calling you up from the number which you gave me from the Redman. Redmond uh, Police Department. So just stay on a hold for a second and do not hang up the call. Just stay on the line. You will be receiving a call, all right? Let me work on your file at the moment. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, there we have it. I guess we had him stumped. So that was the end of, uh, of uh, Sam Wilson and Jenny Taylor. Peace, love, joy, sub. Like.